Steve, as the course director on the Oil and Gas Project Finance Programme, can you tell us just a little bit about your background? Please do, Jeff. Um, I had something like a 30-year career in banking um, between 1977 and 2000. So I know that's hard to believe looking at me at my youthful appearance, <laughs> but, uh, but I did. Um, oil and gas was always very much at the core of, of that career, really. Um, uh, my first entry into project financing was uh, with the HSBC Group financing particularly uh, independent upstream oil and gas companies in the UK North Sea, which at that time was, was, was really booming as a, as a kind of uh, a new market. Um, I moved from um, HSBC with a couple of colleagues to set up an independent uh, advisory company, uh, which was, if you like, a boutique merchant bank, very boutique. Um, and we basically specialised in developing structures for oil and gas and mining independence and we would then take them to banks effectively uh, to seek the finance so the banks would actually provide the finance. Um, that was great fun. Um, my wife however was quite pleased when I got what she called a proper job again uh, and moved back into the city working for Sumitomo Bank, now Sumitomo Mitsui. Um, at Sumitomo Bank what I did principally was downstream and midstream um, oil and gas finance, so particularly um, LNG, liquefied natural gas, petrochemicals, um, and a little bit of refining. And uh, from Sumitomo Bank, I went to Commerce Bank briefly, uh, and from there to Royal Bank of Scotland, uh, which was really a, a great move from my point of view. I joined RBS as number two in the oil and gas project finance team, and uh, after a period then became uh, Head of Oil and Gas Project Finance at RBS uh, when my boss left to become the Finance Director of an independent oil and gas company. Um, he made about £5 million I understand when they sold the company, he bought his Porsche inevitably. He didn't take me with him but I wouldn't wait to think I was bitter or anything <laughs> like that. that was a great, it was a great position for, for me to have because RBS really looked at all of the oil and or the whole hydrocarbon chain, really from upstream through uh, midstream refining, pipelines, etc., uh, on down into LNG, petrochemicals, uh, and so on. So it, it was really a great place to be. And Steve, obviously this program evolved out of the, the sort of generic, sort of toolkit-based project finance course. Can you tell us a bit more about how the oil and gas sector-specific content comes into play on this program? Sure. Um, like most of our project finance courses, uh, the oil and gas project finance course does have the toolkit at the front end. So qualitative risk analysis, quantitative risk analysis and debt structuring and documentation. I won't go into detail about the toolkit. It is very important. I think it's something which we feel gives people a good understanding of the mechanics of project finance. And so that rather than being just descriptive, it provides them with a framework which they can apply to new projects which land on their desk. But I've covered the content of the toolkit in the video covering our generic project finance course. So if people want to hear more about that, they might like to view that video as well. What's specific to the oil and gas course is fundamentally a review of project financing as it is used at the various different stages of the hydrocarbon chain. So we look at upstream oil and gas project finance, so reserve based lending, both single field and uh, borrowing base based uh, financing, portfolio based financing. We look at refining, one of the trickier areas for, for uh, project financing of oil and gas projects. Um, in many of these areas, what I need to do for bankers who don't have a technical background is to give them sufficient industrial explanation of how the industry works, how refinery works, for example, um, for them to be able to understand, if you like, the project finance elements of it. Um, we look at pipelines and storage. We look at liquefied natural gas, a little bit at gas to liquids, GTL, um, and we also look at petrochemicals. So, we look right across the hydrocarbon chain in each sector looking at how project finance is adapted specifically to that sector 
and also using case studies to kind of cement and reinforce and illustrate the, uh, the chalk and talk sessions, if you like. And what would you say are the real practical take-homes one would expect to gain as a result of attending the course? Well, as with um, pretty much all of our project finance courses, uh, the emphasis is very much on making it very practical. Um, so, really what I'm doing is explaining project finance from the perspective of a practitioner, um, how I used it over sort of a 20 to 30 year, how I applied it over a 20 to 30 year career. Um, I think if you come to one of our courses as a technical person without a banking background, you're going to take away a much wider understanding of you know of your sector. Um, if you come to it as a banker, even as a project financier, without specific knowledge of the oil and gas sector, I think you'll take away quite a lot of new oil and gas knowledge, as well as the uh, the oil and gas specific project financing issues, if you like. Um, I think what perhaps differentiates it, we'd like to think. Um, from some other products in the market is its emphasis very much on the practical side of things. So, in common with our other uh, oil and gas, oh, sorry, other project finance offerings, what we try and do is number one, we offer the toolkit. Number two, we give you the benefit of tips and tricks, if you like. Um, you know, what have I? How have I seen things actually happen over my banking career? What do people tend to argue about? Um, who tends to win, you know, what are the options and which way does it most often go. And the other thing that I, th I find that people really love is checklists and I tend to use mind maps and checklists as a way of uh, A, um, structuring the discussion of a particular area and B, also giving someone a useful reference tool uh, or a template if you like. Uh, which they can drop over a future project and where also um, they can spot things that are missing, not just the things in a document or whatever that they don't like, but also the things that are missing. So I think what I'd like to feel is that someone attending one of these courses, what are the takeaways? I think the toolkit, um, I think quite broad and deep understanding of how project financing is used at the various parts of the hydrocarbon chain. Um, so very useful tips and tricks uh, from real life experience and a very useful set of checklists that they'll be able to use in their future work. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Steve. Thank you.